All right, what's on the bench? Um, I kind of live in the old school of electronics and everything that I do is on 100, 100 mil centers, right? If I want a connector, I put in a 100 mil center connector or a ribbon cable with a crimped on 100 mil center, uh, you know, displacement connector and stuff like that. Everything's 100, 100. So I need to get over my fears of moving to the modern days. <laughs> and one of the things I have a I have a aversion to is I just not, I'm just scared of them. I just I just don't know anything about them and I'm ignorant. And so I wanted to learn more about these things and incorporate them into projects that I want to do. And it's these little flat ribbon cables that you op open up any piece of stuff from China. There's always this little ribbon cable inside and you got to figure out how to do the little the little latchy thing. Sometimes they flip up and sometimes they pull up and but um, I noticed that um, when I went to look for this stuff, it is just cheapest, cheapest chips these days, right? Um, you can get, uh, you, just, you just go to AliExpress and you go to a vendor. The, the, the correct term is FFC, flat flex connector. So FF or flex, flat flex cable. FFC flat, flat flex and then you can you just tell it what you want you you tell it a couple things you tell it how many pins you want how many connections you want and then you basically can make a, a, a choice between half millimeter pitch and one millimeter pitch well half millimeter pitch scares me even more so I'm going to start out slow and I'm going to go with the one millimeter pitch okay so these are one millimeter pitch 10 um, connectors and then you tell it how long so you can get little shorties you can get longer ones so I just I just picked a couple just for fun okay and then you need connectors and so these are the connectors now they're going to be surface mount so that's one thing to be scared about as well these are going to be these little tiny little tiny little uh, connectors for surface mount so you have to be aware that you have to do surface mount and there is some hidden features on these things. Um, not, not the little latchy thing. This one, this one here has a, this one has a pull, pull out, pull out and push in for the, for the, the zero uh, uh, insertion force. Some of them, like I said, toggle. Um, uh, it, when you put these down the board, you figure you're gonna rip it right off the board, but they have these features, this uh, right here at the end. Oops, right here is a, is a tab and right here is a tab. They don't make any electrical connections. These are just mechanical connections. So when you lay out a PC board, uh, like this is laid out for one of those connectors, you have to put in this big area here that when you solder the part down, this becomes the mechanical uh, structure of the connector that holds it down mechanically. And then all the other ones are just electrical, but you got to have that mechanical connection. So I'll have to make some footprints, or they're probably already built into into a keycad. Um, and so, I first I started out uh, with this idea. I had this board out of something. Um, I don't I don't even know what it's out of. Um, this uh, what was this from? What was this from? I think this is from the laser diode driver, uh, the, the 405 nanometer lasers I had, and this was the drive circuit. And it had one of those flex, flat flex cables on it. And I really like this one. It's a 10 pinner, but it, it's staggered. So half of the connections are on this side and half the connections are on this side. So this pitch is two millimeters and this pitch is two millimeters. And, uh, those all by themselves add the mechanical strength because it's it's splayed out and um, so I look for these are hard to find I just I just had a hard time finding these so I I, I, had, I don't have any of those yet um, but the way this one works is you put the little cable in and then you just push down on the little ends here and that makes it go um, so uh, like I said I bought I bought some flex cables I bought some connectors but then. Uh, to make it easy on myself for testing and stuff, you can buy um, adapter cards that are flex cable on one side and and uh, 100 mil centers on the other side. Yay! <laughs> Go back to my roots. And so here's a little 10-pin breakout board, and this has the little uh, 
push-pull uh, uh, insertion thing. And you can see also here's the uh, uh, mechanical connection on the two ends to keep it all rigid, right? And uh, it, this connector looks a lot better than the ones that I've got, but they would work as well. Um, so they're here. So anyway, I'm trying to be not afraid, and uh, going to be going to be using the going to be using these little um, these little cables. I think they'll be they, they they'll come in handy, especially if you have a board and then maybe you have a front panel board and you want to connect the two. You can use a little ribbon cable, or maybe you have a power supply circuit and then a normal board, a little flux cable to connect the two, or whatever it is. Um, so yeah. Here we go with a, a little connector on that side and a little breakup board on this side. Anyway, like I said, um, go on to AliExpress and, and look at uh, FFC, or Flat Flex Cables, and you'll see all kinds of stuff. Here, this one is half a millimeter pitch on this side and one millimeter pitch on that side. Yeah.